Computer chips are everywhere. Computers, cell phones, tablets, and they have revolutionized our world. These chips, known as integrated circuits, began with tens of transistors in the 1960s. Amazingly, today's smartphone has over 2 billion transistors on a single chip. We now have a similar opportunity to fabricate photonic chips, which use photons or light instead of electricity. And instead of working with individual components such as lenses and optical fibers, we can now integrate many components on a single silicon photonics chip. So where are optical chips used today? You already know that we're seeing explosive growth in internet data traffic, with a lot of this coming from smartphone apps and wireless devices. But did you know that behind the scenes, there's an extensive network of optical fibers, photonic components, and data centers that transmit and route your phone calls and data? A typical data center has thousands of optical cables moving data around as fast as possible and with low power consumption. As we move into the future, we see big challenges in making computing chips work faster and keep pace with Moore's law. High-speed optical interconnects will be the solution. Hence, you will see optics within computers and even within computer chips themselves. It also turns out that optical chips can be used to make other useful devices such as sensors, including medical sensors. Imagine a future where, if you're sick, your smartphone can perform a complete blood analysis and let you know which disease you have. It's almost beyond imagination what you could do with millions of optical components on a single chip. Now, what if you and I could sit down together and build such an optical communication chip or a medical sensor chip? Well, that's what this course is about. The key is that you, the participant, design your own chip. We fabricate it for you using a state-of-the-art electron beam lithography facility, and we test it using our automated optical probe stations. Then you analyze the results, and amazingly, we can do this together and online in six weeks. We will walk you through a simple project that addresses the fundamental wave nature of light. We will study optical interference and optical waveguides, and you will design an optical interferometer, which is a widely used device in applications such as communications and sensing. I've often said that silicon photonics is like playing with Lego, except that you design an optical structure, such as an interferometer, and the pieces are nanometers in size. You get to assemble silicon any way you like and use your creativity. If you're an experienced designer, let's use this course as an opportunity to experiment with exotic devices such as ring resonators, rag gratings, sub-wavelength materials, and slot waveguides. Whether you're a student or a mid-career professional, you will advance your skills and knowledge. A complete design fabrication cycle will open your eyes to the opportunities and challenges and make for an extremely exciting and rewarding learning opportunity. Come and discover what the world of silicon photonics has to offer you.